Kung Fu Panda 3. That's right. You saw my karate chop. Let's get this thing started. Kung Fu Panda 3, the third one in the franchise, obviously. It is about Poe. Poe the Panda, now Kung Fu Master. Eventually meets his long-lost father, played by uh, Brian Cranston, who eventually showcases him his family of pandas. His long-lost line of families. Kind of like an Amazonian race. And uh, he eventually tells him that they're in trouble because Kai, played by J.K. Simmons, is terrorizing China's Kung Fu masters and pretty much destroying them. And now Poe has to pretty much become the teacher. The student becomes a teacher and teaches all the other pandas to pretty much learn the styles of the Kung Fu. Now, for me particularly, Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2, I thought were actually pretty well done. Now, granted, it wasn't a franchise I really cared for, but I enjoyed my time with them. They were not, you know... Uh, pain inducing they were they were fun to get through now for this one particularly it's not really anything much different maybe maybe a step down depending but i think this one is actually kind of better than the second one in my opinion personally i think the the fighting and the the kung fu are pretty much all on point pretty much the vocal cast jack black is actually still likable and pretty much i'm not a giant jack black fan so for him to be in a good movie i, I say great uh kate hudson and jackie chan and everybody and whatnot the, they're all back in this thing um, for me particularly in this movie, I really enjoyed, um, just kind of like the messages. That's kind of like what Kung Fu Panda really does. I'm not going to ruin anything for you, but for me particularly, Kung Fu Panda has a lot of messages from, you know, discipline and family and, you know, accepting yourself and, you know, accepting being different for me personally. That's what I take from it. Um, but I'm happy to say that this is not a Shrek dessert, right? But, uh, cause everybody knows Shrek 1, great. Shrek 2, probably even better. But Shrek 3 and Shrek 4 just went down like the stock market in 2008. For me personally, Kung Fu Panda stays on track for me here personally, but it doesn't really do anything new. And that's okay. The formula still works. Work with whatever is working, right? So that's fine. For me, it's just that they already did three. They did a Christmas special. We didn't need that. So just stop right here. We don't need another Kung Fu Panda. And why are they getting a lot of praise as it is? You don't want the franchise to just go down and make it be more of a cash grab thing. Um, and this isn't a cash grab because the art style is still on point. Everything is still well done. This is not Norman of the North where you want to throw your head against the wall if you're an adult watching this with your kids. Hell, even the kids would probably join in. But for this, you can actually watch it with your son, daughter, whoever it may be, the family and kids can enjoy this because the jokes are for adults. Some jokes are for kids, slapstick humor, everything works well. Maybe some of the jokes may be like, eh, but for the most part, everything works. That's that's pretty much all I can say. It's a fun movie. If you enjoyed one or two, you'll enjoy this one. If you didn't enjoy for the other ones, then you're not going to really care for this. But that's my review. Comment, subscribe, and like. I'm Chris Smith. I'm signing out.